some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Las Vegas, Nevada, with Liberty Lens Audits and Dumbass Elmo as they disrupt the operations of a local bus station just for their clicks and views and to get a good laugh out of the place. Yeah, there are a couple of unemployed buffoons that have nothing better to do than uh, ruin people's lives and ruin people's days. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? First Amendment audit, folks. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I am sure that she would love to date an imbecile like you, a jobless imbecile who has nothing better to do than go around to soft targets like this and annoy everybody in sight. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be thrilled to know that you are in love with her. Now, this video is nearly 40 minutes long with a huge portion of it being nothing more than dead air. So we're going to be skipping around quite a bit. A lot of boring math later. We're going to be going viral for a video we posted last week on Nye County. Is, is it called Nye County? Nye County, yep. Nye County sheriffs, they were tyrants and they were disrespectful. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Dumbass Elmo playing the victim card once again. That is certainly one of the tenets of being a frauditor, being a professional victim, and lying about the fact that he was the one that ended up instigating the whole thing to begin with. Now, this next moment takes place in media res. Basically, Liberty Lens uh, Audits provides no real context for this confrontation between a bus driver and dumbass Elmo, but the outcome definitely shows how weak and pathetic he certainly is. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Hey! Whoa! Security now because you're filming me. Why That's are you filming me? Why did you touch my hand? I didn't touch your hand. I touched your hand. Look, you scratched me. Look, look, guys. Look, she scratched me. <laughs> I got it, dude. Look, look, she scratched me, bro. Damn. <laughs> Oh, dumbass Elmo, you call that a scratch? I wouldn't even rate that as something worth my time as far as reporting to the cops. Oh, boy, but that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to report this to the cops. So basically, dumbass Elmo, the cops are only convenient when you need them, huh? Not when they come to trespass or arrest you, huh? Pathetic, dude. Real pathetic. Okay. I'm going you're gonna get fired. I don't care about it. You don't care? Well, you're no. gonna care tomorrow. You don't know who we are. I really don't care. Well, you, you should. Didn't come up and you you should address yourself. Or you nothing. don't need to touch people. You, I didn't touch you. Yes, you did. Look at your head. Look at your nails. Right. Look at your nails, bro. I got you on video hitting me. Now you're gonna deny I hit you. it. Yes, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yes, you did. I got the better angle. You got the, you got a good angle, right? Yeah, bus drivers. They have all these rules and laws that you can see. Assaulting a bus, a bus driver is a felony. Yep. How about when the bus driver assaults you? Oh. Well, after this, there's a lot of dead air when the authorities that are in charge of this uh, transportation hub uh, come in and investigate for a while. And, well, this is what happens. They care so little about dumbass Elmo's little boo-boo that they let the bus driver perform her duties. One eternity later. So we're hopping in this bus, but we can't let the criminal go. Damn, that's fucked up. 
Well, these two giblet heads are not exactly satisfied with not getting that bus driver fired at that very moment. So later on, they find somebody else who they try to rile up for their own uh, pitiful little amusement and the amusement of their uh, sycophantic audience. Now let's skip a lot more dead air to get to that part of the video, shall we? Many tic tacs later. How's it going? It's our bus. What? It's our bus. Oh, is it really your bus? Okay, then why don't you go ahead and hop on it and uh, take it down to the used car dealership and present them with the title and sell that bad boy for a profit. Oh, wait. That's right. You can't because you don't own it. You don't own the title. You don't own any piece of that bus whatsoever. In fact, if you even try that, that would be definitely a crime right there. And you would probably spend a few years in prison over that. Bus. Yeah, it's our bus. What's your bus? That bus? That, yeah. You're not getting on that bus? No, that's our bus. Why? Not? Why not? Well, that's our bus. Why? I'm a driver. Okay. I'm going to get you over on that bus. You're going to drive us where we're going to go. I'm going to get you over on that bus. How much you want to get? Bet. Get on. All right. Get on. Get on. How much is it? Two dollars? Get on. Get on. Is this how you represent your company? Are you inviting us in? Yeah. I got two clowns out here. Clowns? I'm trying to, uh, trying to force their way on my bus. Oh, That's not very professional. Yeah. Specifically, yeah, how did we force ourselves into the bus? Clown, what you, what you playing on me for? What you playing on me for, clown? Because you're calling us clown. You're in trouble, man. Why Oh. oh boy, oh boy, look at dumbass Elmo run away like a scared little wussy that he is. You know, it just goes to prove that he's a coward. He won't run away from women or cops or anything like that. But when it comes to somebody that will defend themselves, oh, he runs away like a scared little boy. And I'm talking about a little boy. <laughs> I don't want to be video, bro. I don't want to be video. I'm not scared, bro. I'm not scared. I'm not scared, bro. I'm not scared. I beat your ass. You don't have to be scared. I'm not scared. Actually, he's a professional boxer. And he's messy. Hey, that would be bad for todos. This guy just charged at me for the same. Cállese. Look at. Now it's about this time that the transit authorities just have had enough of these two and want them to leave the property, but they refuse to do so and want to wait for the cops to show up. Many, many minutes later. So it's still pending? Mm. Okay. They're still trying to send somebody out here. I promise you they're still coming. Um, just at this point in time, because it's been longer than an hour that you guys have been on property. If you want to wait right by Gillespie on the sidewalk, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, no, we're, we're really waiting here. There was a crime being committed. We can't leave the scene, but... You're, you're, more than, you're more than welcome to wait at Gillespie, but at this point, I do need you to go ahead and leave property at this point. I don't think that we're going to do that, brother, because you see, you told us that the police is coming. You can't just tell us to leave if we were assaulted. We're the victims here. So, you, honestly, if they're not here for an assault, to us, I don't think they'll be here for us standing freely at the at the bus station, especially you know if we've done nothing wrong and we've been more than cordial to you guys. So I know no, this I, is I probably coming from higher ups, but they they need to understand that as as respectful as we're being, uh, we can we can't 
like start go a different route when, uh, when it comes to this you know if you guys want to go back inside and chillax and wait until the police shows up you're good you already know that we're not out here cursing we're not out here uh, starting trouble we are literally working as taxpayers so with all due respect Now, this is where I'm going to end the video right here, considering that all the police do when they show up is have these two morons fill out their, their complaint forms and everything like that. But you know what? I really don't think it's going to go anywhere because the proof is in the pudding. These two morons came here to create a disturbance, and that's what they did. And I don't think the complaint's going to go anywhere as a result of their own video. And I seriously doubt they're going to get anybody fired from this uh, position. Yeah, that's what they want to do. They want to get people fired. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's just a power trip for them. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?